What's going on, True Team? Hey, I came to talk to y'all about a job, a J-O-B. Do y'all know what J-O-B stands for? Just over broke. A fucking job don't care about your car broke, your kids can't get to school, I'm sick. They don't give a fuck about your car being stuck on the freeway. They don't care about you, you ain't got no money to get to work. They don't care about you, you ain't got no gas to get to work. They don't care about your rent not being paid. They don't care about your kids not having shoes. They don't care about your kids not having food on the table. They don't care about none of that shit. All they want you to do is slavery and work. That's all that's all they want. That's all they want from you. If you really think about it, bro, what is worth the work? Because a lot of motherfucking bosses talk to you like you ain't shit already. So instead of us men, this is for men generally. And women. I'm gonna say this, but it's more so for men, because we do this shit because we feel like we gotta do this shit because it's for our families and shit like that, but not understanding if you're not comfortable at a job, bro, or this is not a fulfilling your purpose or, or trying to help you get better, leave that motherfucker. See, we stick to a job instead of being honest with ourselves. We forget this. We go in that motherfucking job and be like, well, shit, I'm getting a check from this job, man. This is a good ass job, man. This, this job, I'm doing this shit, shit. I'm, it's helping me, you know, I'm helping me and my family. I'm doing what I got to do. You feel me? This job really put me in position. Knowing you're not happy with that motherfucking job. Instead of you being honest, like, man, I only came here to get this motherfucking job to get the check, man, to help my motherfucking mama, my sisters, my brothers, and my kids, you feel me? And that's why I'm really doing this shit, because it pay, it pay me a week, and I feel like this is what I need right now. Okay, once you be honest about that situation, then your purpose will reveal. Your purpose will reveal once you be honest about that situation, like why you here for this job. A lot of us just at a job for a check, bro. We're not at a job because we want to be at that job. We're at a job for a check. Motherfuckers fella realize having a job is a choice, bro. It's a choice. It's a big ass choice. We look like motherfuckers fella realize once you think, I never used to think of it like that, but now that I do, you can easily be replaced by another motherfucker. They can fire you. You can be replaced by another motherfucker. Or you can quit and you can be replaced by a motherfucker, motherfucker. So working for a white man and going off of their principles and different types of shit instead of going off your own principles for your own business, you start to think differently. You start to realize, like, I can make way more money doing my own motherfucking business because I can use my creativity to become a better version of me instead of working for a motherfucking white man that don't want me to do nothing. He want me to sit in that one particular spot, do all this goddamn work. I got to go to work from 11 to 7 in the morning. I got to do this just because this is the only shift they wanted me to do. Then a lot of motherfuckers don't put you on the shift you want to be on. They put you, put you on the shift. They put you on the shift they want you on. So, like, I tell motherfuckers like this. Which one would you rather pick? Working for another job or working for yourself? It, it all depends. Like, I'm like, because if your job cool and you like that shit, then that's your purpose. It, it, it really is. But if you don't like that motherfucking job, then I wouldn't be there. Don't be honest with yourself. I hate this job. I'm about to just get my money, leave. Then I'm about to find a better business plan for me to start my motherfucking business. Because if you're waiting your whole life to start your business, it's going to take you years to start your business, bro. You're not going to start that shit and you're going to be wasting time. And we don't, men on this earth can't get time back. We can't get time back. And men die very quickly. We die way, we got a way more death, ex, like, death, like, ratio than women do. Women, like, women don't die as fast as we do. We die quick. So as men, staying focused is the best option and focusing on your creativity. Instead of you lying about your job, bro, be honest about that shit and acknowledge the fact that you're only there to get a check. And once you acknowledge that shit, your whole mind frame changed. Now you go into that job with a purpose. Like, I don't give a fuck if they fire me, bro. I'm just going to keep getting this check and, and, and staying happy because you you happy as fuck. That's going to shock them, bro. When, you, when they fire you, you happy than the motherfucker. Like, I'm so happy. You just thank you. I appreciate it. They ain't going to know what to do. Like, this guy just got fired from his job, bro. This woman got fired from his job and they happy. He happy as hell. She happy as hell because you knew what you already was going to do. I don't give a fuck if they fire me from my job, bro. I don't care because I already have other incomes going on, other things I'm thinking about, uh, putting towards the effort to doing this shit. I don't give a fuck about if my job fire me, bro, because I'm only here to get a check. That's all I'm here for. I'm here to get a check. It's helping me. That's all it's doing. But I will never let nobody disrespect me at no job, though. That's un never because I don't need that shit. I can find other ways to make money and do my own thing. But... 
once you acknowledge the fact that you're only there to get your check and you following your purpose, that's all that matter. Can't nobody else tell you shit else. You you did you doing your purpose and you doing what you and doing you at work doing your thing too. But understand, a nine to five you can also milk to bring in better income to get financial wealth, to get generational wealth. You could do that shit, but some people don't like the job that they at, so they can't do that shit. Some people hate the job that they doing because they've been through. Granted, you probably got a man that was in prison. You probably got a man that's, that's doing a temp agency, but I want to tell y'all right now, y'all stick that shit out till it's time for y'all to get y'all business and focus on y'all shit. Yeah, of course they're going to knock down a lot of doors because you were prison. You just came from home from prison. But bro, I guarantee you, you stay focused, a lot of shit is going to come to you. I want everybody in the black community to understand. J-O-B is just over broke. If you, if you hate the job you at, quit that motherfucker and become successful on your own. Quit that motherfucker and become successful for you. Quit that motherfucker and understand that it takes a lot to really walk away from a job. Because we so mentally slaved by, we need a motherfucking job or we're going to be broke. Homeless. This, that, and the third. But being homeless is not all bad, bro. It's not. It's not all bad. I know a couple of homeless people, bro. And, and it's crazy because they actually enjoy it because they get to be in the world, bro. It's like when you learn so much shit and you understand so many different things and you read and you and you look out in the world, you be like, damn, man, motherfuckers got it bad, but then they don't because they feel like the world is what you make it. And that's a true statement. The world is what you make it. So J-O-B is just over broke. Start using your imagination and your positive energy to get to get you to the route you want to. Cut all the negative motherfuckers out. Cut all the dumb shit out. The job shit. Because motherfuckers who want motherfuckers. And, and that's another thing about people. You quit your job. Motherfuckers be like, man, this girl broke as hell. He ain't buy, I don't know why the fuck you quit that job or this done the third. Because they ain't you. You know what? You know it's going to be crazy. They're going to be 50 years old. 50 years motherfucking old. Still at the same job. Crime. Mopey. Back broke. All types of shit. While you're going to be 50 and a billionaire. So, yeah, I'll tell you, quit your motherfucking job. Take that initiative. Yeah, take that initiative. Quit your job. If you if you a teacher and you want to serve your purpose, that's different. You a teacher, you serving your purpose. You teaching kids how to learn because the, 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 uh, the school district system is fucked up out here. It is. These kids are not learning anything. School's not teaching us a goddamn thing how you used to back in the day. It's not teaching us shit. Not, but now... But now, if if you can, you can build your own goddamn school and become the vice principal and the, the I mean, the, the principal, have a vice principal, all types. You can do what you want to do. But but for you to make them necessary steps, you got to quit your job and stay focused and stay on that shit to understand it. Like, bro, this is what I want to do. So let me stay focused. I know a job is just over broke. Let me stack up these checks. Let me turn 10,000 into 100K. Let me turn 1,000 to 10K, then let me turn 10K to 100,000. How can I do that? Write down the goals, plans, everything that you have to, to get to where you want to get to. Once you do that, you will reveal your success and you will get away from that just over broke ass job. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.